This is Mary Jo for Off the Trails and welcome to wild, wonderful West Virginia. Well, you don't find all art in galleries. Yeehaw! How fun is this? And here's some of nature's art. I wonder what the story is for this. Here's another story. I wonder what this one is. Germany Valley once had Hinkle's Fort, built in 1761 and 62. Take a look at how it looks today. Now that's a view. Just pretty. There's pretty wildflowers, thistles and milkweed, and behind it a mystery. Looks like an old grill. And another one. And there's more down over the hill. Seneca rocks were named for the Seneca Indians who used to live here. People rock climb and rappel here. But you, but you don't have to rock climb or rappel, you can hike up there. Now if you are a rock climber, there's a lot of ways to get up to the top. Either the North Summit or the South Summit. Seneca Rocks was used to train soldiers during World War II. There are some hiking trails. Nice easy ones. And there's a lot to look at. If you want, you can just set. The Sites Homestead was built in the 1850s. <laughs> Pretty butterflies everywhere. It's a typical homestead of that time, the mid-1800s in West Virginia. There'd be apple orchards and grape arbors. There'd be a kitchen garden. <coughs> With pole beans, tomatoes, corn, onions, and herbs. The rain barrel would catch water. An outside fire could be used to cook or to make soap. Everybody had to have a well. They have a blackberry patch. Yum. Fresh blackberries. And a smokehouse. Smoking was the way that meat was preserved. This plants flax. Flax seed oil, flax seed were used for food. And you can also make clothing from the flax. Pretty amazing plant. Let's take a peek inside the window. It's a visitor center. The visitor center does focus on the early pioneers. That's where we were. And the earliest inhabitants, the Native Americans. Here's where we're off to next. All these odds. And a little shopping. Like for next season? Or? No, it'd be for Alkins at the end of this week, so it'd be the first of next week. Pretty and 
so quiet. Butterflies and wildflowers. Now it sounds like it was named for a woman named Dolly, but it was really named after the Dolly family. They spelled their name D-A-H-L-E. Somehow it became D-O-L-L-Y. And the sods, well, they sell the sod for a living. Grass rooted in dirt. Dolly sods. Now you know. It's beautiful up here. It's a beautiful view. Off we go on another hike. It's the next adventure. It doesn't get any prettier than this. There goes my intrepid partner blazing the trail. It's glorious. Hey, I got a word for being up here. Wow. If you're an adventurous camper, you can camp here. Anywhere you want, as long as it's at least 300 feet from the road. And there's also a campground that has 12 sites, a pump, and two chemical toilets. Are on top of the world. The road looks like it goes on forever. It's like a ribbon. We're in the wilderness. More wildflowers. These are wild huckleberries wild blueberries, but they're not ready yet. Up here you walk along the path like that and then you come out to this beautiful, beautiful view. Dolly Sods really is a special place. Just fly away. A word of caution, or two words of caution. We visit, the animals live here, so we respect their home. And second, this was used as a training ground during World War II, so unexploded mortar shells have been found here. However, if you stay on the trail and don't touch anything that you might find, you'll be safe. There's that second warning. There's lots of trails, and they're varying lengths, but I think the Longest one that I saw was only around six miles. In case you think we're not very high. A little walking, yes? The terrain's a little different. It's a lot more open. Something nice to look at. In the middle of nowhere. Very rough trail. We found the blueberry or huckleberry. And they're very tasty. Mm -hmm. Greg's had his first taste of Dolly Sod's wild berries. Yay! <laughs>